We're going to take a look at standard 8.10c, which says the student is expected to explain the effect of translations, reflections over the x or y axis, and rotations limited to 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, and 360 degrees as applied to two-dimensional shapes on a coordinate plane using an algebraic representation. I would like to take a moment with you and share some information that comes from TEA. It comes from the Mathematics Teak Supporting Information Document for Grade 8. In that document, it says that students may be given a rule to apply to the vertices of a geometric figure in order to graph a transformation. Students may be expected to know that xy is transformed to y negative x represents a 90 degree clockwise rotation. Students may be expected to know that a 180 degree rotation may have the same result as a composition of a vert vertical reflection and a horizontal reflection in either order. I also did um, provide some information here about our transformations, translations, reflections, and rotations, and some algebraic expressions that are used for these transformations. I'm not going to go through this all, but if you would like, you can pause this video and read it on your own. Let's look at a problem now for 810C. So the problem says the coordinate grid shows parallelogram PQRS. Parallelogram PQRS is rotated 90 degrees clockwise about the origin to create parallelogram P prime Q prime R prime S prime. Which rule describes this transformation? Well, I'd like to take a moment and talk about um, all of the rotations that the standard says the student should be able to do. Um, first, let's look at our original image, which is provided here. This list the coordinates of this image. So P has the coordinates of negative 6, positive 4, Q has the coordinates of negative 4, positive 9, R of negative 1, 7, and of S, negative 3, 2. What I like to do when I'm first introducing rotations to students is to let them use patty paper. So I have taken a plain piece of patty paper and I trace the x and the y axis as, as well as the parallelogram and I label the vertices of the parallelogram. So that's what I've drawn on this patty paper. So let's look. If we're going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise, I'm going to take a pencil tip, pen tip, fingertip, something, and place it right here on the origin of the coordinate plane, and I'm going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. And I'm going to stop right here. And now we see where the transformed figure would lie with a 90 degree rotation clockwise. I've taken a moment to list the coordinates of that rotated image here. P is 4, 6, Q, 9, 4, R, 7, 1, S, 2, 3. Let's rotate it another 90 degrees for a total of 180 degree. And let's see where this figure ends up on the coordinate plane. Okay, so here it is, and I've listed the coordinates of that, that figure here. P would be positive 6, negative 4, Q, 4, negative 9, R, 1, negative 7, S, 3, negative 2. Let's rotate it another 90 degrees for a total of a rotation of 270 degree in the clockwise direction. And let's see what the coordinates are for that rotated figure. P would now be negative 4, negative 6. Q negative 9, negative 4, R negative 7, negative 1, and S negative 2, negative 3. If we rotate one more time 90 degrees for a total of a 360 degree rotation, we're going to end up right where we started. So the coordinates of a 360 degree rotation are the exact same as the original figure. So now let's think about algebraic representations. So let's talk about the 360 degree first. If we rotate a figure 360 degrees in either direction, the coordinates are going to be the same because you're going to start, you're going to end right where you started from. Now let's look at a 180 degree rotation. So what happens to the coordinates when we rotate 180 degrees? Let's look here. So I have the same x and y values, but the signs are different. So this means that the transformed or rotated figure is going to have coordinates of negative x, negative y. Now let's look at the 90 degree clockwise or 270 counterclockwise. So let's look at the coordinates. So hmm, if we look here, we can come up with a pattern that the transform figures has coordinates y negative x. Now the 270 clockwise rotation, let's look at those coordinates 
and see if we can come up a for a pattern. The rotated figure has coordinates of negative y, positive x. So going back to this question, which algebraic representation um, would be used to describe a 90 degree clockwise rotation? That would be xy, which is, will be transformed to y negative x.